Microsoft Word 210 customization. Customizing Microsoft Office 210. In order to access the customization options within Word, you need to click on the File tab, and then you need to click on the Options button down the bottom here. This will open the Word Options dialog box, and as you can see, there's a number of tabs here. There's a General tab, a Display tab, Proofing, Save, Language, Advanced, Customize Ribbon, Quick Access Toolbar, Add-ins, and the Trust Center. By default, the uh, General tab is normally displayed uh, first when you open this dialog box. And uh, as I say, you can use the, uh, the Word options to customize a whole range of features in Word and basically customize how it works. And there you are, it's been saved. Setting the default opening and saving folder. As always, if you want to change the options within Microsoft Word, click on the File tab, click on the Options button down here. Within the tabs down the side here, click on the Save, uh, Save button here. And as you can see, there's various options you can change. So for instance, you can change the format in which the document is saved. Uh, normally it would be saved in the native uh, Word 210 uh, format. But if you're working with people who were uh, uh, basically sharing earlier versions of Word, you might want to reset that to an earlier version. If I clicked on this version here, which is the Word 97 to 2003 document uh, version, then basically I would lose some functionality that's available within Word 210, but it would be my uh, documents that are saved are compatible in the um, Word 97 to 2003 uh, Word range. So if most of the other people in the office were using that version or those versions of Office, then that might be an idea. As I said, the default is to use the Word document and at the star dot. DOCX. The DOCX is just simply the format that's used by uh, Microsoft Word 210. You can set various option, other options here to do with files. So you can set the auto recover location. So if you have a crash or something like that, it will um, basically save a previous version, assuming the auto save was set in place. And um, you can also set the default file location. So in this case, as you can see, it's set to the documents folder. If I wanted to change that, so I would simply click on the Browse button over here. And in this particular case, my documents are in a subdirectory of the My Documents folder called Filming, Office 210 Tutorials, Word 210 Intermediate, and that's basically the default location for uh, these particular files. So I click on OK. And what that now means is that when I click on the File Open button, it'll open files directly from that particular location. And when I save, it'll also by default save to that location. So this can be quite useful if you're uh, working on a project and you're creating and opening large numbers of files, and it just saves you messing about trying to find the appropriate directory. Uh, do bear in mind it saves that location. So if you um, work on a new project, then you'd have to save it to a new. You have to set this to a new location.